Now, what an exciting week it has been. Because, of course, there was a plot to poison the Queen by lacing her chicken with cyanide. And she'd probably have eaten it, because after all those years with Philip, she's used to tasting dodgy cock. <laughs> <laughs> from here, all right. <laughs> it's all just so tasteless. <laughs> That's right, everyone on their feet, please. Aha! Oh, very perky over there. Ooh. Oh, he's young, he's the use of his limbs. Okay, uh, stay standing, stay standing. If you've ever done something unpleasant to food and then served it up. <laughs> Could have been everyone for a second. Oh God! Uh, I'll go to I'll go to man with white spiky hair. I'll go in here now. Hello, sir. What's your name? James. James. This is James. Everybody. Uh, and James, what what did you do to the food? Um, I put a bogey in a piece of fruit cake. <laughs> <laughs> and who who got to eat the fruit cake? Oh, I don't know. I was working in a cafe at the time. <laughs> That's nice, and yet vile. <laughs> Now, this woman down the end looks too posh and clean to have done anything disgusting. <laughs> so, I'm just going to... I'm just going to go to her. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, what's your name? Jo. Jo. You see... <laughs> you can't imagine it, can you? Oh, Jo's whole house could be covered in cling film, couldn't it? <laughs> so, Jo, what was this aberration of disgustingness? When I was about 15, I didn't have a Christmas present from my gran, so I made some biscuits and I put all the mixture in and it all went wrong and I got so cross that I picked it all up and I threw it at the wall and it all stuck to the wall and then I had to get a knife and scrape it all off and put it back in a bowl and then make it into biscuits, but I cooked it and I gave it to my gran and she ate them. <laughs> and she's dead now, isn't she? <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone up again, everyone up again. <laughs> OK. Uh, stay standing. If you've ever lost control of your body at, at the wrong moment... <laughs> you know <what> I mean. <laughs> Not too many for this. Uh, let's go to this lady. Hello, what's Hello. your name? Karen. Karen. And when did your body let you down? <laughs> um, seven years ago, I did a parachute jump for charity. And I... <laughs> oh, you might as well finish it. Go on. <laughs> and I was so scared when I jumped out of the plane. Um... <laughs> I just sort of messed my knickers. What, what's mess? Is mess front mess or mess? <laughs> At least it was probably a nice soft landing, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and has that ever happened to you again since? No. No, no never. No. Are you no. sure? I'm <laughs> 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 only joking, you fragrant woman. <laughs> uh, you. what's your name? Hasina. Hasina? Yeah. And what, what happened to, to you in the, the loss of control? Um, well, we'd sort of gone out for a drinking session and we were walking home and I was really desperate to go to the toilet mm -hmm. and um, there wasn't anywhere I could go because we were walking home along a long road and I thought I saw a dark shop opening and um, sort of went into the shop opening about to pull my trousers down and I saw two people walking out of the cinema and that's what I <laughs> Well, you were pissing in a foyer. <laughs> Not quite, but it, it was just very dark. 
<laughs> think about it. Oh, look, it's a movie critic. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't think much of that, did she? <laughs> Now we know why they always smell of piss. <laughs> it's her! It's her! Well done to all the tasteless people. Very good. Oh. Flowers for me. <laughs> what does the card say? Oh, thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. It can only be one person. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, the most golden girl of all, B. Arthur! Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Upstairs, I Where are your shoes? Oh, no, I, they're in makeup. I was afraid of walking down the stairs. Oh, fair enough. No, this thongs. is very casual. So she said, take them off. Yeah. I thought, are you familiar with the work of Sandy Shaw? <laughs> Sit yourself there. Thank you. You, you casual creature. Yeah. Oh, you look fantastic. Thank you, my darling. No, because you described you. this like you were going to be in a clown's outfit. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I've, I've been told the show is very tasteless. <laughs> I say that lovingly. <laughs> it is just so weird, because I loved the Golden Girl so much. It was just yes, so weird yes. that you're here and right there. I, is it true that Estelle Getty, who played your mother, that she was younger than you? I, maybe a couple of months, yeah. The th Betty and Estelle and I are about the same age. Rue is about ten years younger. And I found this this picture and it is sort of oh there's one of Estelle um being your mother oh god oh, but now is this is this Estelle is that Estelle at the end yes let me see that no isn't it isn't it mad where the what, they, no. why are they giving you a hubcap as a prize <laughs> <laughs> what is that I, oh they're all female impersonators no are they really not you well I don't know let me actually see it, it doesn't I'll... look very like you that's not me <laughs> No, it is me. It is us. <laughs> That's us. No, truly. But I warned you. I warned you. When I arrived, I would, you know, the long trip and everything, and uh, Cram very lovingly took us out to dinner. I said, I know I look, I look terrible, but let me get a good night's sleep, and I'll end up looking exactly like Danny LaRue. <laughs> Where did you find that? I don't know. I have no idea. Would you destroy it? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Gone, gone. History, 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 history. Thank you. It never ends. Um, now, now, we do, in this country, know you best for the Golden Girls. Yes. And the, the four of you just living in that house yes. for, for years and years. Yes. I mean, that must have been, as an actress, that must have been a very sort of unusual experience for four women of oh, a certain I don't age. think it's possible. I think it's completely impossible for four women to live together. I think it's impossible for two women to live together. I mean, even with those great scripts, I don't think it would happen, you know? That was what was so lovely about it, was that there were all these middle-aged ladies who, I mean, beautifully groomed, having sex lives, having, you know, I mean, it, they, were, they were not just people relegated to wheelchairs or, you know, it was, it was quite a, that in, that in itself was a departure. And now, you did tell me a joke the other night. I'd love you to tell it again. The Estelle Getty joke. You want me to tell that joke? Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't tell Estelle. <laughs> Why is walking a high wire like getting oral sex from Estelle Getty. I don't know. Whatever happens, don't look down. <laughs> You're naughty. You are naughty. 
That you are very naughty. Well, oh, that tickled our own golden girl there. That's that's our Betty there in the front row. Mm. Look at I her. must say, you Brits. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, are you easily shocked? No. Good. Um, <laughs> what are you going to do? No, no, nothing, nothing. Don't nothing. you dare. No, no, <laughs> would I? Would I? No, nothing bad, nothing bad. Okay. Uh, what it is is because um, you you must know there are lots of golden girl. Uh, fan sites out there and B. Arthur fan sites. They just love you. They love you. Uh, there's a guest book. <laughs> now, there's this man, Steve Hurley, right? He's slightly odd, Steve. <laughs> uh, he has a shrine to you. Oh, come on. No, he does. He's a shrine to you. He does. I have a shrine to be in my bedroom. Sometimes I just. Ooh, that, ooh. Uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway, I love the Golden Girls and you better too or else. And then it just says, P.S. My cousin and I have sex. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I mean, that's that. Yes, yeah, I, good fan base. This is my one of my fans. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Anyway, so there's another guy here. We, we were reading all of these, um, and this guy, uh, he's. What is it? I love this site. B. Arthur's a TV goddess. Keep up the good work. Come and check out my site. He's got his own website, this man, right? So we thought, oh, that's good. It'll be more about B. Arthur, because we're researching Yes. It. Imagine our surprise. <laughs> we clicked on it, and it's nothing to do with you. It's nothing to do with anything I've ever heard. It's a site called Rev Me Up. <laughs> He's obviously having sex with his cousin. <laughs> he could be. This man, basically, it's a place to find stories about revving and, and pushing pedals. They like it. It excites them, pushing pedals. <laughs> no, I have to say, it is the weirdest thing we ever got. But there's loads of these. Once you get into it, there's a whole ring of these pedal pumpers. They call themselves pedal pumpers. <laughs> and look, there's pictures. This is so weird. There's pictures here. That's what they like. Oh. <laughs> You know, we got that on the... We so didn't... We have not made this up. <laughs> you can go to this site. It's Rev It Up, Rev Man's, Rev Man's site. Are you getting excited, B? Is it doing... <laughs> I'm reminded of... I'm sure she's not. Remember Fergie? When she was getting her toes set a number of years ago? I mean, that wouldn't be her foot there, would it? <laughs> Do you know, it could. <laughs> No, but a very slim ankle. We think not. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to know more about this. And uh, Rev It Up Man, right, Rev It Up Man, his name's Jim. And we know nothing about it, so uh, we emailed him. And actually, normally, sometimes what we do is we sort of, like, pretend that we're just calling people, you know, to the... Are you going to phone him? Yes. <laughs> I haven't spoken to him myself, but I'm told he's almost evangelical about the foot pumping. <laughs> he knows it's a TV show. He wants to tell us why it's so great. <laughs> and we want to know, don't we? <laughs> so, here we go. Uh, uh, <laughs> it is... I just... You know, most perversions, you're kind of on... No, I said perversion. It's not bad. It's just an interest. But... Uh, <laughs> Most of them you can sort of understand. I so can't understand this. Thank you for calling Technology Media Group. Oh, uh, hello? Yes? C could I speak to Jim, please? Sure. May I tell him calling? Graham Norton. <laughs> He's got a little pedal under the desk. <laughs> okay, okay. Hello? I, pay, I just paid you, Jim, so you can, can you hang on a second? All the time in the world. Shall we see? I know. Are you okay there? You're fine. I can't believe some old pedal pushing purr. <laughs> is keeping us waiting. <laughs> Ooh, do you have another joke about blowjobs, you could tell us? 
<laughs> you are <laughs> naughty. Oh, no, they're very funny jokes, and you tell them very well. Hello. Oh, oh. Is that you, Jim? Yes, it is. It's Jim! <laughs> you were serious, Peter. Jim, 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 we're so happy to talk to you. We saw, we saw your website, and I found it well, sort of intriguing. I, I don't quite understand it. I mean, what, how, how exactly does it work? With the, you, are you excited pushing the pedal? <laughs> uh, that's a lot of it. Um, watching other guys do it as well. Um. So watching people accelerate or, or break gives, gives you pleasure. Oh, definitely. Okay. And now, because pressing pedals does excite you, I mean, does it make driving very difficult for you? Um, it certainly makes it fun. I have to say, I don't drive myself, but maybe I should. Um, I, I have got slightly aroused on a bus, but I think that was just the vibration. I don't know. <laughs> but now, I, the, the thing is, the site that we found your site on, right now, was um, a Golden Girl site. Right. Yeah. So, do, do, you, do you still watch the Golden Girls? Um, I watch it almost nightly. Do you? Yes. Because, this is the... I'm sitting beside B. Arthur. Oh, for real. <laughs> is he pedaling very fast now? Yeah. yeah. B was just asking if that was making you pedal very fast now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, so I, uh, but we're just, we're just intrigued, because I've never heard of this before. And it just, uh, but you sound like, you, you sound very nice. Like your average pedal push. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, well, listen, um, good luck to you with your, with your pedal pumping. Do you want to say <laughs> goodbye to B? Uh, yes, I would. B, wish you the best of luck. And, Thank um, you. Good talking to you. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you. That's very sweet. Keep very sweet. pushing those pedals. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jim. Good luck to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh. And that's it. Join me and the fantastic V author after the break for a heart-to-heart with my gorgeous second guest. I thank you. See you then. Oh.